Let's get right into it. Let's start off with the starters, because if I can find them, here they are. So, I really like the cat. I really like Sprigatito. This is my favorite new. This might be my new, my favorite new baby form of the of the new Pokemon. <coughs> this is a really good A tier Pokemon. I like I really like the eyes. I, I like how it's posed in the in the 3D model, and I think it's just a really cute design. All right, Mo moving on to Florigato. It's an okay mid stage. I don't. They. Game Freak has really struggled to like really narrow down these mid stage starter evolutions. Like the best ones are like are like Rovile and like Duat and Breaks in. And I think Flora, I don't think Florigato is like on that caliber. Though I still <coughs> though I still think it's like pretty good. And I, I think and I like the design like a decent amount. I'm gonna so I'm gonna put it in B tier. And Miascarada. This is a contender for my new for, for my favorite Pokemon of the generation. I like <laughs> I like its little I like its little um, bow tie scarf thing. I like how it's positioned. I like the how it's like the leaves on the on its arms. I, I, I kind of like a sleeve joke, the sleeve jacket thing. And I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's mask too. And I also like this flower. Yeah, really good design here. I like this one a lot. Um, it's gonna go in S tier. I know that it's it's probably my favorite Pokemon of the of Scarlet and Scarlet Violet. Moving on to the Fue Coco line. Fue Coco, this thing is just stupidly adorable. A tier. It's there's a lot of memes about how its eyes just are look so and how it looks so stupid, but it's an adorable kind of stupid, you know. I like it. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know the middle stages at name, and I hate this thing. I'm, so I'm gonna put it in D tier. I think this thing looks so stupid. <laughs> it's a weird like design choice it shows for the Fue Coco line. Where, like, they decided, like, the pattern is very, like, I don't want to call it, like, I don't know, blocky? Like, this is just squares, like, on him. I don't know. I, I don't, and, like, independent of that, I just don't think he looks that good. Alright, Skeledurge. He's alright. Weird color scheme to go for him, like, I don't know if, like, I get that the red is supposed to be the dominant color, but to me, it comes off more as the white is the dominant color. It was the two previous starters. The white was like the accent color, and this for this one, it's just not. And again, like I don't like the how the I don't like how just a blocky design. Like in terms of patterns on its body, I get that's not actually a block, but it's fine. I think I'm gonna put it in B tier, but it's it's okay. All right, the duck, probably the worst baby of the starters, but I still like it enough. I like how it's kind of sassy. I like how, like, I like how when you first run off, off the game, it, like, when Coco goes to eat an apple, and then like, Quackus is like, you know, I don't do that, dummy. And, <laughs> but yeah. This thing looks really, really stupid. I don't, I, I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah. I think it just looks really bad. Alright, Quacks and Quabble. It's not as bad as, as I think people saw it initially. And, like, in-game, the model is actually, like, a lot cooler because it's, like, dancing, and, like, it's tail is like spread out and stuff and it's with this cool pattern but even then not quite what I was expecting from around the line I'm gonna put a quack squabble in C tier it's a, it's a, it's an okay final stage alright this is fun let's move on to the whooper now this is like there isn't much going on here this is literally just whooper but it's black now and but whooper is a good design to begin with so I'm gonna put him in B tier <laughs> Claude's Dyer. Hot take, but I th I think I think this thing looks almost as good as regular Claude's Dyer, and Claude's Dyer looks derpy enough. So yeah, Claude's Dyer goes in A tier. Uh, dumb little design, but I like it. All right, let's talk about the Tinkaton line, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why this line needed three stages of evolution. Like, I think you could have just gone with with the middle stage and this stage, and it would have been fine. I don't know why we needed a baby form, and for that reason alone, I'm gonna put the baby form in D tier. And then, I don't know what it is, but I just don't like this one. That much, like, I don't know. It's okay. It's got like a ponytail. I'll put it in C tier. But Tinkaton, that's another S tier design. 
this thing rules. And it's like the one Pokemon that's holding an item that is an exception to like the I hate Pokemon that will have items rule. Like, it's part of the reason why I hate Reloom so much. Reloom is one of the least favorite Pokemon it's because of this, this freaking drum. And it's because it's, it's, a, it's a lapse in conceptual consistency. And it's why I don't like Pokemon that holds items. But if you're going to have Pokemon hold an item, this design pulls it off incredibly well. Like, that is a great design. Like, I don't know if people have seen this anime, but I, I, there's an anime called, um, I can't go on the off, it, it's called Bofury, um, I'm gonna max out my defense or something. I'm gonna def max, out my, max out my defense, or, or something like that. Um, and there's these two side characters in the two are just hammer girls, and they just freaking destroy things. And I, and, that's, and I think it's so funny how, like, she has, how she has a base 70 attack stat, but if you get down to hammer, it's like base 160 power, so very, so very clearly just comes through as, yeah, the hammer is doing all the work, but and she's not that independently, independently strong, and I like that. I think Tinky Tons a really cool design. Alright, let's talk about LeChonk, the most overrated Pokemon of this generation. Um, just the meme value alone, like, I, I get them in a beef here, but he's not that good, guys. He, it's just a funny name. And, yeah, and these final evos don't do it any favors. I think once I think they're called Oink Clone. Yeah. Alright. The Dunsparce. We've been waiting for a Dunsparce evolution for like ever. And for it to just be yeah, it's just another yeah, we just added like another tail onto it. Or like adding like another bump in its body, like it's that's so lame to me. It's just a, so disappointing. I'm gonna put it in D tier. Alright, so I've got some of the cooler designs here. We have Charcaday. Pretty solid beat, like baby form. It reminds me a lot of Tyrog. Except it's like it's like fire Tyrog now. And I like that. I'm gonna put it in A tier. And then I like both these designs equally. I think I like Sarah Ledge slightly more. So I'm ten I am they're both gonna be at least an A tier. Sarah Ledge and Armor Roach. I'm I I, I almost wanna put Sarah Ledge in eight in S tier. I think I will. I think that design just looks sick. Alright, Toad School. It's alright. And then Toad School. It's also alright. <laughs> actually, I think I actually like the patterns in that one. I think it's a really, really like, cool pattern design. Like the like those like the purple up here, then the black, and the gray transitions in the yellow. I like that a lot actually. Eh. Ah, I'm gonna be in B tier. King Gambit, this thing's sick, dude. That's not this, not this. This thing is sick. That is so cool. I don't, I, I, I never asked. I don't know if anyone ever asked for Bisharp evolution, but I'm glad we have one because this guy looks awesome. Okay. And also, Supreme Overlord is like an incredible ability. Just concept, con it's just an anime ability. Like, oh yes, my entire, all my friends are dead. It's time to bump up my power level. Like, it's time to go. Like, it, that's so sick. Annihilate. Another just cool conceptual design where, like, I think there was something pointed out, like, on Twitter I saw. Where, like, yeah, there's, like, if Part of Prime gets too angry, it dies. And, and like, Annihilate's kind of, like, the cap on that. Where this is, like, Annihilate Part of Prime after it passed away. And, like, it's to learn to control its anger. And I like that. I don't like the design that much. I think it's okay. But I, from the conceptual standpoint, I really like it. Alright, let's talk about, um, Tarantula. It's, it's alright. Like, we've gotten spiders in the past. We've gotten arachnids in the past. And Joltik and, um, Spinarak. I think I like it more than Spinarak, but I don't like it more than Joltik. And that's Grimsy. I think this thing looks stupid. A D tier. <laughs> Freaking Spite Ops. Um, and then we have Nimble. I actually like Nimble. He goes in B tier. Uh, and then Low Kicks. I think he's kind of cool. I'll put him in A tier. Relor, he's just rolling a ball around. I like how, from a conceptual standpoint, like yeah, he's this guy's trying so hard to push the ball around, and then he finally gets the psychic power. He's like, yes, I can control the ball now. But yeah, I actually like Grabs because of the though, so I'm putting eight here. All right, Grievel and Houndstone, or Grievered and Houndstone. They're just both solid B tier designs. I don't have much feelings on them either way. 
uh, I forget this thing's name, but it's worse Chingling, so it's gonna go down there. And then I think this thing looks really ugly. Uh, Espafra. One of my least favorite Pokemon in the generation. I think it looks really ugly. Alright, uh, Farafareg, or I think it's called a Figurath. To the Drafareg evolution. We should rank the sex drive of each mon. Um, sorry, Bomb, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and anyway, we all knew that, um, yeah, yeah, we, we all know that we we'll be on top of that one. Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway, Ferrigarath, it's about as good as Drafareg, and Drafareg for me is about a B tier mon. So, yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Bug Trio. So when I first saw, saw Wiglet, I was like, man, I, they're going to make the trio look awful. But this thing, I don't think it looks that bad. I think it's fine. I don't know why we need the rock here, but we have it. Wiglet, bit freaking bane on humanity, this thing is. That's going to deep here. Dodonzo, the dumb looking whale. One of these, one of my least favorite Pokemon generation, dude. But if only from like a competitive standpoint. In terms of design, I think it's alright. I think it's fine. B tier. The Luza. This guy's just trying to be an edgy basculin, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Alright, Palafin. I like Palafin, it's a cute dolphin. And then I like. Oh, wait, no, this is Finifin. This is Palafin. Yeah, this is Finifin, this is Palafin. I don't like how when Palafin evolved, it looks exactly the same. But then, I like Hero Mode. It's all right. Small live. When I first saw this thing, I was like, oh, that is, yeah, that's just Badoo. And I still feel the same way. This is just Badoo. So, C tier. Lack of an originality. Though, I really like this one. I don't even know this one's name, but I really like it. It reminds me a lot of Roselia, and I really like Roselia. And it's like not riffing off of Roselia in the same way that I think this guy's riffing off um, Badoo. And in this thing, it's just. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, um, what's this guy's name? I can't remember his name. <laughs> I played the game, by the way. Um, he's okay. He's like if Torchic was just like a plant. And that's kind of how I feel about him. He's gonna go to C tier. He's okay. And Skull Villain, this guy, this guy is kind of cool. I like him. Alright, um, Tim Pole, Run Wannabe, you're gonna go in C tier. And then Belly Bolt, you look. You look stupid. I'm not gonna lie, and you you don't look stupid in like the good kind of way. Alright, the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> um, it's weird, but I, I like the vacuum cleaner. I don't know why. And then I really like Reverberum. And I, again, I don't know why, but I like him. <laughs> um, Orphworm. I don't like him as standalone, but I like the Titan Pokemon of or Orphworm, or Orphworm, and I like how that made conceptual sense because he has the Earth Eater ability, and him just digging through digging through like the ground and stuff and being a Titan Pokemon. And yeah, that makes a lot of conceptual sense. So yeah, just based on conceptuality, Orphworm gets carried a lot. All right, Tony Moss and Moss Hold, perfectly fine. M M Moss Pokemon. I don't think they're anything special, but they're okay. Alright, um, Satato and Satitan. I actually like them. Satato goes in B, I think Satitan brings it home, so Satitan goes in A tier. Alright, um, Bax Calibre is baby form. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like it. I don't know what it is. It's just like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Larvitar. Expect that it's not, like, it's not as charming as Larvitar. I like the middle stage a lot, though. I don't know what it is about this one, but I like it. Maybe it's because it's like a cool, it's like washed out cyan. I don't know, but I like it. And then Bax Caliber, that is cool. He's going up in A tier. Cool. Alright, Tatsugiri. Eh, he's alright. I, like I like him from a conceptual standpoint, so we'll put, him up. We'll put all the forms in B tier. Cyclizer, really good design here. I like him. I like I like I like the conceptuality with um Karidon, Miraidon, Miraidon too. All right, now similar to freaking um Tingenton, I don't know why we need we need a Revo for Palm for Palmy. So 
I don't think we need mid stage, so I'm gonna mid stage down to D tier just based off conceptuality. But I really like Pommy, and Palmot's okay. I think Pommy might be my favorite baby form, either him or Sprigatito. Alright, Wattrell, the new bird. He's okay. He's like a he's just a Talo. And then Watt and then Wattel or Wattwell. He's okay too. <laughs> um The bird. Again, like I like him. I like this bird from a con I forget to say his name, but I like him from a conceptual standpoint because his ability um, is that he can, like, he, he has, like, he can have Rock Stab, and it, when you fight him as a Titan Pokemon, he's just throwing rocks at you, so I like that in, from a conceptual standpoint. Again, like, like Earthworm, he gets gonna, he's gonna get bumped up by, based on him, based on the conceptual standpoint. Alright, Squawkabilly, probably the most forgettable Pokemon of this generation. All, all these forms can go into D tier. They can all go down here. Same thing for the Flamingo, this is just a Flamingo, this is nothing else here. Our boy Cloth. I think he looks stupid enough in a good way, so I'm gonna put him in B tier. Like, I, I, don't, I think Belly Bolt is dumb in a bad way, and I think he's dumb in a good way. Alright. I actually really like the entire line, just from a conceptual standpoint. Knackle, 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 Knack, Knack, Knacky, Knackle, 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 Stack, Garganicle. I like this whole line. They're all good. And I also like this line Glimmit into Glimora. I just like them. Cool designs here, just all across the board. Good job on those. They, they, they nailed the rock types. <laughs> all right, Trudel into um, Ferrari Fer Fer or I can't remember any of the other things. But yeah, Trudel, cute little baby, B tier, and then also, eh, he goes in B tier too. He's okay. The dog, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, and this one's also so cute. Oh my gosh. Cute puppies. Okay. And then, these ones are okay. Fun fact, Mabble, um, Mabble Stiff, this is my first shiny, um, Mabble Stiff, or Mastiff. I found him completely by accident, and I got him up to level 30 to evolve, and I never used him again. So I just didn't like these guys' designs. This, he, he, I don't like the way his face looks. And then, he's kind of cute. I'm gonna put him in B tier. The Tumbleweeds, both of them can go into B tier. <laughs> Um, I don't, I, I don't think they're playing myself so much. It's like, when, when we had ghost types in the past that, like, that were, that were, like, took over, like, plants, like, Phantom and, and like, um, Punkaboo, we, we still had, like, ghost faces. Like, these guys are just tumble, these guys are just tumbleweeds. There's no faces here. Like, I get the dead bramble gas, I think this one's called. It has, like, tips up here that are kind of give off the ghostly vibe, but I don't know. I just don't think. I just don't think this is very good, good design. They're just tumbleweeds. Alright, the, the treasure, the mimic. I, I like the idea of there being a mimic treasure chest in Pokemon, kind of like Dragon Quest or other, other, other RPGs. So based on just conceptuality, I'm going to put it in B tier. And then Goldango, I don't like him that much. C tier. Um, Great Tusk. This guy's sick, dude. He goes in A tier. God, that guy's cool. Brute Bonnet. Yeah, <coughs> I'm not gonna hate for that one, but I like him. The uh, Sandy Shocks, eh. Screen Tail. This thing is adorable. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's so good. I think this thing looks so cute and so terrifying at the same time. They nailed. They, they nailed this one. S tier. Fluttermane, same deal. I, Mr. Vis is my favorite baby Pokemon, and for this just to be a Mr. Vis like one off, I think this thing looks amazing. S tier. I think they nailed like the um the, the past the um the past Pokemon for the most part. Slitherwing. He also looks sick. A tier. And then Roaring Moon is the only one I'm like, yeah, that's just a down straight up downgrade of Salamence, but A B D B tier. Iron Treads. I think I think Iron Treads looks cool. A tier. Iron Moth also looks cool. A tier. Iron Hands, I don't like Hariyama that much, but he's cool, B tier. Iron Jugulus, they made Hydreigon lame, C tier. Iron Swords, I love this guy, for personal reasons. This is like a personal mod I just like a lot, S tier. 
Uh, the backstory is that when I played Showdown, the first like original set I made was this was this Iron Sword set where you had like no attack investment, and you had max speed and a max defense, and we get defense boost. And then you just set up with Dragon Dance in there, and I like, and this is, and I called it Lilac Thorns. And so yeah, that's that's an in joke for me. It's Iron Bundle, it's still Deli Bird. Who cares? Iron Valiant. This guy is sick. S tier. All right, Ting Lu. I like him. A tier. I <coughs> I like these guys. I like all four of them from a conceptual standpoint. But yeah, Chien Pao. I like this one a lot. S tier. Really good legendary design. And then, Wo, is it, this one is Wo Chien. He died. B tier. The fish. I like the fish. A tier. Chi Yu. And then we got. We'll do the we'll do the two covers. The legendaries last. We'll do the Tauros forms. So yeah, regular Paldean Tauros. Goes in the B tier. I like the fire Tauros a lot. He goes in the A tier. And then the water tourists are just okay. And then cover legendaries, me ride on. He's just okay. We'll put him in B tier. And then crow ride on. This guy's sick. He goes. In, he goes in S tier. Crow ride on. Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll order my top tier. Um, yeah, Meowth got Arata 1, Fluttermane 2, Tinkaton 3, I really like Iron Valiant, put him at 4, I like Great Tusk, put him at 5, I like Streamtail 6, I like Chien Pao, Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go like that. Actually, I'm gonna go like that. I like that. Okay, that's ordered. Right, we're gonna order this tier. Who's my third mod in here? And honestly, it might be Palmy. I really like him. Palmy, Sprigatito. That's fine. I'm just gonna order last year. I don't. I don't feel like ordering all, all these tiers. Yeah, who? So he's my least favorite Pokemon of generation. It's probably this guy, or this guy, or this guy. I think they're all. I think they're all terrible. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm happy with this. Overall, pretty good generation of designs. I like them. I because this is for someone who who didn't like a lot of major didn't like a lot of the scrot the short sword and shield designs. I made when I made my sword and shield um Pokemon tier list, I think I only had like three mods in S tier, which were like Corviknight, Hatchrim, and um and I think it was Dragapult maybe. I don't remember. <coughs> Oh, it was Frozmoth. It was Frozmoth. Yeah, it was Corviknight, Frozmoth, and and um and Hatrim. And they were the only ones from my last year. But here, I'm like, yeah, I like all these Pokemon a lot. 